Continue to get better, uh, bigger, stronger, faster. Dexter at 253, big, strong uh, guy. When you guys see him, you'll understand what I'm talking about. Tons of, of talent in that body. He's a hybrid. He can play nose. He can play three technique. Extremely athletic. Um, moves really well. So we're excited about him. We want to take a big step there. Um, we've done that in free agency. Um, and then we've done it in the draft too. And then you get those big guys inside to really be in the heavy rotation. You know, with Billings and with Justin, um, who will be really good leaders for those guys too. In terms of the defensive line, you got to have really two waves. So we've been able to start that inside. They punch the pocket. They dent the pocket. That makes a shorter edge for the outside guys. In the run game, they're heavy, They're tougher to move. That allows your linebackers to flow and run even better. So Tyreek Stevenson, another guy we're really excited about. I uh, got exposed to him at the Senior Bowl, as well as obviously our, our fall evaluation. Didn't feel really comfortable with him making it to us. So we got a little bit of aggressive, went up and grabbed him. Uh, big physical corner tackles uh, will strike you. Good ball skills, what stands out about him in coverage. He has a ton of poise, really stays in control through all of his movements and especially when uh, the ball's in the air. Uh, so we're excited about him. As we made the turn into third, uh, Zach Pickens was another guy that we had really close to Dexter. He was still there for us. Again, another opportunity to add, you know, big interior player who has length, very good athlete. So, you know, that's one space we wanted to get better. We want to be more stout. Excited with Darnell, a player that we can add to our offensive line and continue to get better up front. Big athletic guy, uh, physical. The one thing that stands out with him, he's a tone setter. He plays with the edge to him, which we love. We want more of. Um, so he's definitely going to add that. Versatile guy. He can play left, right. He's played guard before as well. You know, this was a, a really cool experience to go through with him. You know, there's an attitude, there's a mental toughness that you have to have to play this game. He showed us the grit and the mental toughness to be able to fight through fatigue and, and all of those things that we look for. So it was a really good experience from start to finish. A guy that we were comfortable with as being the top tackle in the draft. So we're pumped about that. What we wanted to do is, one, have him on his, his turf where he's nice and comfortable, put him on the board, install a bunch of run and pass plays, erase it, go over some different concepts, things that we do here, go back, have them regurgitate it, teach it back to us. And he showed the ability to adapt and learn really, really fast, which was good. After that, we brought him outside, warmed him up. He'd get up to the line of scrimmage. We had a couple guys there. Simo would call out the play and then change it last second to see if he had the mental quickness to change and adjust. And he stayed aggressive, finished. Um, again, that attitude that we're looking for up front. So really good experience. How can you put the best five together? So if that's right tackle, it's right tackle. We'll compete, keep it open. And, you know, whatever that front five is, that's what we'll roll with. We felt comfortable that that was the guy that we wanted. Um, you know, even though Philly, you know, we did the swap with Philly, um, we felt really good about that. When you're looking at offensive linemen, you want clean hands. And he's got some technique to work on. All of them do. If you miss with your hands and your technique's a little bit off on a certain play, and you still have the ability to anchor up even when you're wrong. You can win when you're wrong. We can clean you know, those little details up, hand usage, angles, things like that, pad level. Uh, we think the sky's the limit for him. He's a nasty dude who when you watch the tape and be like, all right, we got to play the Bears next week, you go, okay, like, this is going to be a long day. The synergy between the front office and the coaches continues to be really good. Uh, staying on the same page that so we're bringing in players that fit our scheme and, and help improve our roster. Overall, just really excited. I thought we did some really good things. Uh, we got better as a football team. This this process takes some time to do it the right way. Um, and I thought we set ourselves up nicely to do that. To add capital this year in the draft is, as well as the future and set ourselves up with two ones and 24. Um, I couldn't be happier about that. But then when you add a player like DJ Moore, who can help us right now get better, I, I was over the moon about that. Tremaine Edmonds, um, I can't wait to, for you guys to see this guy. He's special, he's big, he's long, he fits our scheme. Uh, TJ Edwards, awesome story, really good player, instinctive. Again, is going to help our defense get better. Demarcus Walker adds a big, tough, violent, heavy-handed guy that can play defensive end and kick inside and rush too. So we're pumped about that. Man, I, if I try to describe it, I don't even know what I say. I'm in shock. I don't know. You know. I'm happy. I'm happy. I'm really happy. You know, although I'm, I'm somewhere I really wanted to be, so it's it's almost like a plus. I don't, I don't think a lot of people get that lucky, but I don't know. Just control what you can control, and the rest just you know just do the best with what you got. I think you can get a small bit of who I am in that game, but uh, I don't know. The the Alabama game is 
to me and people that kind of watch, I like to play against the best players, and I feel like Will is one of the best players in the draft. Obviously, you see coaches see that in him as well. So it was fun, and I just I just know what I can do. Uh, I mean, you see it in the Alabama tape, but you'll see it in all the other tape as well. Yeah, I mean, you see on tape, I can I'm big and I'm strong, but I don't think people realize. Uh, once once they really get to see some more of me, like they'll see how athletic I am. And I don't, you know, you never know. You can try to say, you know, I think they're going to pick me. But then again, Coach Coach Simo, he just actually got off the phone. He was saying, you know, it was so hard not to just call you and tell you like, hey, man, you know, we're going to pick you. But I can play. I can play both sides if needed. I mean, I know I'm coming into a room that um, I just want to earn the respect of those guys first. And then, but I could play probably anywhere on the line. I mean, and just my athleticism will speak for itself. And then I just want to get better and better at my technique. And that's what I'm there for is for anything he needs is, is that's my job to keep him clean. Amazing, amazing quarterback. And, you know, the things he does, uh, it's going to be, we're going to have a great team. 